Hello, guys and gals, and this is Vlog Friday. Let me just check to see what, what number this is really quick. Um, let's see. According to this, it is Vlog Friday, episode 40. And um, so, yeah, I'm recording this on July 4th, which is, in America anyways, Independence Day, the day when we basically declared independence and basically became a free nation. And that got me to thinking that I really wanted to talk a lot about freedom. And that's probably something that a lot of us take for granted. Um, there is a saying that freedom is never free, and that's true. Um, on Memorial, on uh, Memorial Day, we commemorate those that gave their life for our freedom. Um, and on Independence Day, we celebrate the freedom itself. Um, a lot of sacrifice was made in order for the, the liberties that we have currently. Um, I feel fortunate and blessed to um, live in America where there is freedom. Um, and again, it's really easy to take freedom for granted because, you know, it's just something that basically if you're born into it, then um, it's really easy to, you know, say, well, I can do this. Um, I've always been able to do this. One thing to take into account, though, is that not everywhere has the same freedoms that we do. I know that um, in some countries, um, I know that like the internet or, or YouTube is like censored, you know, you can't watch certain YouTube content in certain countries. And um, there are just certain countries where there really isn't much freedom. Um, and really, that's kind of hard to wrap, a, wrap, a, wrap your head around sometimes. It's a concept that's hard to um, grasp. Um, it's, um, really easy to just say, well, it's, it's a, um, it's Independence Day, it's a day off work, or if, or it's Memorial Day, it's a day off work. Um, I think Memorial Day used to be called Remembrance Day, but I'm, I might be mistaken. Um, it's easy to see holidays, or mainly holidays based around freedom as just another day off, or a day to to drink beer and stuff like that. Granted, I don't drink beer, liquor, or anything like that. Never have. Probably never will. Um, it just was, wasn't was what I grew up... It wasn't a, an environment that I grew up in. Um, but um, I know that it's something that a lot of people do. Anyways, um, or it's a way that they celebrate. And um, so, yeah. But anyways... Um, so yeah, it's really easy to um, take something like freedom for granted um, because there are countries and places out there where freedom is really restricted. Um, sometimes it's because you're a certain religion that your rights are restricted, and sometimes it's just that your rights are restricted because of a governmental thing, of the form of government that, um, that exists there. Um, so it's really easy to take um, take what we have here in America for granted. Um, and I'm saying that with all the humility that I can. Um, anyways, um, anyways, even with the, these freedoms, it's easy to get depressed, basically because of the way society is. And one way to counteract or counterbalance the depression or the symptoms of depression. I do always have to say symptoms. It doesn't help the cure, or I mean, it doesn't help the root of the depression. The symptom, one way to help count, counter or help um, cope with the symptoms is to um, do something that you enjoy at least once a day. You have to make sure it's something legal. Um, I know that in Illinois, anyways, I don't do it myself, um, but um, marijuana is legal here in Illinois. And I never do that, even though it's legal. I know, I do remember that when my mom had her cancer treatment, that they did offer her, you know, med medicinal marijuana, and she turned it down. But um, then again, she always had a high threshold for pain. And um, she really had no discomfort, really, even after her, um, her um, lumpectomy. She had um, breast cancer. Um, and they just went in and took out the lymph nodes, and she just... She didn't even have any pain after that. Um, and she did that without medication. And I think that if I were 
offered marijuana, I'd probably turn it down because I don't really like substances that would alter my perception and um, maybe hinder my judgment. That's one of the reasons I don't drink liquor is because I'm, I don't want I don't want to take substances into my body that would alter my judgment because I always want to be in control. Anyways, um, so yeah, anyways, but you always have to make sure that what you do is legal and within your dietary wheelhouse. I mean, if you're a diabetic, you're not supposed to be chowing down on, um, please hold just a sec, um, on cookies and sugar. I know because my mom used to do that, but anyways, um, also, you know, you always have to make sure that what that your choices are healthy um, and won't cause you could cause you to end up in the hospital. Anyways, um, let's move on to the next one. You so you should always treat yourself to to a treat once a day, at least. Uh, maybe watch a movie that you really enjoy. Anyways, number two is there's always someone who cares, and society has a way of alienating people or um, making people feel alone. And, um, I mean, even with social networking platforms like, um, Twitter, um, though I hear Twitter is kind of toxic. I, I do have a Twitter account, but I just never use it. Um, there's like Facebook and YouTube and all that. And you can have followers on YouTube and, um, you can still feel alone, um, because the closeness isn't exactly there, but there is always someone who cares. It can be, um... Someone in the service industry, um, psychiatrists and stuff like that. There's um, family members and stuff like that. There's always someone who cares, though, and that's always something that you need to remember. Number three is if you are suffering from an affliction, there is no shame in seeking help. That is also really important. Oh, good. There. I'm just checking to make sure that my battery power is going back up. It was down in the red. So yeah, if you're suffering from an affliction, there's no shame in, in seeking help. That It can be a physical ailment, like um, I know that I've had to go to the doctor before to get um, a boil drained on, off, off my back, and in my leg too. I developed a boil on my leg, and that was, that was no fun. Um, but anyways, but also um, mental conditions. If you're suffering from a mental condition, then you should always seek help because there's, no, there's just no reason for you to feel or to be afflicted by that when there's medication out there. Now, I realize that there are people that can cope with with um, depression and stuff like that without medication, but I also know there's a lot of people out there that can't. I really admire people that, that can cope with um, situations like that without medication, but I also realize that there are people who can't, and um, maybe they don't seek help. And... Um, that's what the people in the service industry are for. They're, they're, they're there to help you. Um, I know that in situations and conditions like um, paranoid schizophrenia and um, bipolar, you basically have to have medication in order to cope just from day to day. And um, so it's always good to make sure that you're taking your meds. Number four is no matter how bad things get, there's always hope. And that's also the power of positive thinking, which we're going get, to get into later. Um, hope is a very valuable thing. Um, it can basically... Also, society has a way of um, making situations feel hopeless. And um, that's basically a lie because there's always hope and no matter how bad things get. Um, things might not be going quite right, but no matter how bad things get, there's there's always a glimmer of hope. A cloud always has a silver lining or, you know, however the saying goes. So um, always try to hold on to that hope. We're going to go into more of that about more about that later. Anyways, number five is societal tags and labels are pointless. People are people, and um, there are positive labels out there, but there are also lots of negative ones. Um, and basically, overall, I'm against societal labels and tags. Um, they tend to put people into a box. Um, you tend to group people together with a certain tag, and um, you really don't get to know them. Um, we tend to um, group people like according to religion, to sexual orientation, to uh, by, um, well, let's see, I've already said religion. R race, that's another thing. We tend to just group people together by race. Sometimes we just judge people based on their race, and that's never really good. Um, everyone is unique, and we'll get, we'll get to that soon, too. 
Um, everyone is unique, and um, so you probably shouldn't be um, putting people just because of a certain skin color or religion. You shouldn't be putting them all in th- into the same box um, because um, it's just um, unfair to them. And you might miss out on being a friend if you um, fail to see the opportunity. Um, but yeah, um, I've, I've always really been against societal labels and tags because um, it, just tends, it just tends to alienate people and it just isn't beneficial. Number six is be yourself. There will never be another you. And this is the power, I mean, the, yeah, the power of individuality. Um, you should always be yourself and people will still love you for being your for just being you. Um, basically, you were born unique, and you should really embrace that. Um, well, I guess Pride Month is over. Um, boy, that went fast. But um, you should always just embrace who you are. Um, and uh, and um, you shouldn't feel bad if somebody criticizes you for being different, because being different is actually a very, very good thing. Number seven is always think positive thoughts. And, oops, where's this paper going? Okay, let's put it over there. Okay. Uh, um, always think positive thoughts. Now, um, I know that there have been lots of studies done on the power of positive thinking and all the beneficial benefits to it. Yeah, I know, beneficial benefits. Yeah, that's... In other words, um, only good things come from positive thinking. Um, extended, um, it extends a person's life. It um, basically... Um, wow, there's just so many um, benefits um, it increases a person person's attitude. It makes them more amiable, which means more agreeable and, you know, basically more resilient to um, bad situations. Um, a person who, 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 do, who thinks positive is less likely to be um, overtaken or overwhelmed by a bad situation. Um, and I don't mean the sarcastic, I'm positive it's going to be a bad day. No, 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 not at all. Um, I'm talking about, you know, actual positive thinking, um, hope in the future, the knowledge that things will get better, and um, there are certain worldviews that really embrace positive thinking, and um, so yeah, next time you're in a bad situation, just try thinking positive thoughts, and um, always hold on to um, the hope, which is, was, um, what number was that? Uh, number, okay, um, I can't find it, oh, oh, Number four. But anyways, um, it has been quite a while, and I hope that this was helpful. Um, again, the power of positive thinking has been clinically proven numerous times to be beneficial, and um, so try it. Next time things go wrong, or even when things are going right, it's always good to have a positive outlook on life. But anyways, that's going to probably do it for this video. Um, I know this one was kind of thrown together, but... Um, I always try to emphasize these seven points, and maybe soon it will be eight. I don't know. But anyways, um, I just feel that these seven points are seven really, really, really important things that everyone should probably practice. And again, that's just my opinion, though. And as I say in my product reviews, you can either take my opinion or leave it. Either way is fine. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. And if you like this content or if it helped you in any way, then make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way, or if you want to join the Discord server and we can t- chat there, then all that information will be in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.